Kasparov. Uh, shaking Takasov. out, loosening up, getting warm ahead of entering the arena. Near bid to progress towards the medal stages. We remain in the 52 kilogram flyweight division. Petra. There is the Uzbek representative Kyrgyzstan. in this bout that will be contested Scotland. between men Petra from three. Iran Republic. Four. Argentina. and Uzbekistan. Five. Kazakhstan. Referee Politantina, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Oh. So we've got judges from Kyrgyzstan, Scotland, the Czech Republic, Argentina, and Kazakhstan who will preside over this one. There is Shakzod Muzaffarov. Referee Inapolitan from Bosnia Herzegovina. Round one. So we're underway then. Bout number 27. Fifth bout of the day here in ring A. It's a 52 kilogram flyweight contest between boxers from Iran and Uzbekistan. The southpaw wearing red is the Iranian boxer. Mustafa Rigi. Rigi. But the bustling compact figure wearing blue is the Uzbek representative Shakzod Muzaffarov. Rigi, 19 years of age, part of a seven-man Iranian boxing team. The women competing for Iran here in Kielce 2021. Zafarov, part of an 18-strong Uzbek squad, full complement of men, along with eight women making up their legion here. Both of these men enjoyed national championship success in the youth and junior ranks and the man in red experienced on the continental stage as well but he's taking a cracking right hand there while he was back was to the neutral corner low held guard being offered up by Rigi, Rigi. Terrific punch picking from the compact figure. Wearing blue. Invariably closing the distance, walking his man down and then edging forward with quick feet. Close the gap there as he looked to uncoil a corkscrew right hand underneath. Spoken to about the rough house tactics which caused Ouija to take a trip to the floor. So looking to control the distances, the man in blue, wide-legged stance and edging forwards, inching forwards. Rigi with a good southpaw left. The right hand was of the rather, rather looping variety, but the left hand was right on the button. Muzaffarov looking to pin his man against the ropes once again. Nice defense with the gloves to repel that shot from Rigi.
while the slapping punch is being landed by the man in red just did begin to find his range in the closing stages of that opening round but the punches that he did land didn't land with the correct knuckle part of the glove so four judges favoring the work of Muzaffarov, judge d from argentina preferring the work produced by Rigi in red Well, one of the observers here just talking to the Iranian corner because they had too many seconds up on the ring apron. The third second didn't stay there long, I can tell you, because the eagle-eyed observer swooped around the corner in the manner of Boxy, the tournament mascot. And just said, hey, hey, one down. You probably heard her issuing the instructions. No more than two seconds permitted up onto the ring apron and only one of them allowed inside the ropes Round two. in the boxing ring. And that is where our focus of attention is as we begin this second round. Team boxers from Uzbekistan and Iran. All Asian affair in terms of the confederations where they compete. Giving off an air of confidence is the man in blue. Hands down, hands out wide, just trying to show his opponent that nothing that he can do will make him become concerned. And again, all of these intangibles, just crucial. Good work, first to body, then head from Muzaf Muzaffarov. Plenty of watching and waiting as they're trying to draw that lead that they can counter between these two boxes. Good use of the feet to avoid the shots from Rigi. Beautiful single left hand landed out of the south force stance. Crashing right hand comes over the top in response. Good work to the body and why not indeed? But you see, the man with the infringement there was Rigi because he was holding the head, providing an extra set of Earmuffs almost around the ears of Muzaffarov. Muzaffarov. But while he was doing that, it was terrific activity to the body from the man in blue. And again, they're point scoring punches. And point punches which can also deplete the energy levels of the opponent. So just get the sense that Rigi has got to be busier here. let his hands go more frequently than he has done through this juncture of the bout. Again, not every boxer is going to be a whirlwind front foot operator. Some like to wait on the back foot and try and counter, which is all well and good, but you've got to make sure that a sufficient amount of punches land if you are going to adopt that posture. Right now, Rigi just in danger of being outworked, so he backed up to the neutral corner there, just above our commentary position, had nowhere to go, and reverberation as he catapulted back towards the center ring, ran him into a shot from the man in blue. So closing seconds of the second round. And again, beautiful work to the body by Muzaffarov. Got a little bit naughty by nudging shots around the head, but that is several occasions now that Rigi has been spoken to about excessive holding. Remember, it was a 4-1 split in favor of the man in blue, and it is a 5-0 clean sweep in favor of the same man, Shakzod Muzaffarov. He's in complete control going into the third and final round. One of the judges scoring it 10-8. The judge from the Czech Republic, Judge C, in favor of the Uzbek operator. And here, the, ed, the, the clamp being applied, and look at Muzaffarov, not deterred, and just said, okay, you're going to hold me that high and leave your torso open. That's point scoring territory, and he took full advantage. So again, just as I suggested during commentary, Rigi has got to get busier here 
than he currently is. Because he's trailing in this contest. 2018 for four of the judges, two points down. 2017 for Judge C. So he's got to find some type of different strategy here. He'll be aware of that. The corner will be aware of that. Can he do something in a bid to turn it around? Good shot selection from the man in red. Leading off first, it resulted in an exchange, but at least he let his hands go. Something he didn't do with any regularity during the second round. So man trading misses during that attempted exchange. So both boxers guilty of leaning on, holding on, and not obeying the command of break. Ruji falling short on his forward foray. Right hand to the body wasn't too far away from Muzaffarov. So neither man demonstrating too much accuracy during, accuracy during that particular coming together. Plenty of activity with the hands, but nobody really finding the range. Midway through the third and final round, and it is Rigi. Now the onus is on him to try and do something different. Beautiful left right combination landed by Muzaffarov. Again, watching waiting is a perhaps natural counter punch up, but that is a really difficult tactic to use when he's boxing at this tempo as he takes a nudging left hand again on the forward charge from Muzaffarov. He's spoken to about keeping his head up. But trying to overturn and a two-point deficit for four of the five judges, a three-point deficit for Judge C from the Czech Republic. It's going to be very difficult to do it at this tempo from Rigi. May land a big shot, which just turns things around completely, but he hasn't demonstrated that type of potency so far. Well, you don't want to upset the referee. Mazafarov in a controlled, in a commanding position here. He's just trying to perhaps get inside the head and frustrate Rigi, tapping him on the back of the head like that. So that could invoke the ire of the third official, the ref up in the, or the third person up in the boxing ring. Why take the risk? When you're in such a position of advantage the way the contest has been boxed and indeed the scoreboard. Well, Rigi not able to rally and find the sustained quality that he needed in that third and final round. And one suspects it is going to be the man in blue who will go through to the second preliminary round in unanimous fashion. And what will we have in store? An all Central Asian affair between the neighboring nations of Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan because awaiting in the second, pre in the second preliminary round, the round of 16 is Kenji Muratuli. We need official confirmation, of course, but that is what my instinct tells me from here ringside. We have it. Legionov in Kielce. Well, he had his moments, did Rigi, but there simply weren't enough of them. Here's the Ladies verdict. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this bout by unanimous decision is the boxer from the blue corner, Muzaffarov Shakzod. And there is confirmation, a unanimous points decision victory for Shakzod, Shakzod Muzaffarov. Wide margins of advantage as well. Just one point in it for the judge from Argentina, but no doubt about the winner. Nice to see that. Not of respect exchange between the two combatants. Bout it is that man who goes through to the round of 16, taking all five, kilograms. taking every Keep round for all corner. five of the judges. Welcome, and boxer. he will face from off against the man Japan. from Kazakhstan in an all Central Asian Kira encounter Daya. in the round of 16. That bout scheduled for tomorrow in the afternoon session.